Hello, 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 everyone. This is Kathy. And I'm back. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and are still enjoying the holiday. I am here to begin a journal that I'm making. And these are some of the papers that I will be using. These are from Louisa Heinzel. I'll put her link in the description box. And I believe this was called Women in Rome. But I thought they were so pretty. And this is from her Urban Collection. Um, but just really pretty images. So I know I'm using these in the signatures. And I'm going to put those aside. I also printed some things on overhead transparencies. Let me turn them over so you can see them. These I will be making uh, some windows out of. I'm also going to be using some of the Faces collection by, I believe this was Cheryl, art by Cheryl. Um, so I will look those up and make sure I put them in the description box. But to start, I'm going to start with something that inspired me. And that was these, let me turn that. That were these uh, digis that I thought were so cool. And... I'm going to try to do something like this on my cover with strips of ribbon. So that's where I'm starting today. So stick around if you want to see me do it. Probably make mistakes with it, but that's how we learn, right? So what I've done is I've cut a bunch of ribbon and... I'm going to have it dangling from here. I'm just using this and some clips um, to start with. So let's see. Let's start with this, this one. And these were just scraps that I had. Some of them were sari silk that I purchased. Some of them were things that I've um, collected scraps that I had. And after I clip these, I'm going to sew them and then I'm going to color them with inks, stamps, etc. And right now I'm not caring too much about the length. What I do know is that I want them to overlap a bit. Hmm. And I guess you could do this with any kind of ribbon. Grow grain ribbon would be nice because it would it would um, unravel nicely. And this is something I haven't tried before. I just came across that digi, you know, trying to organize my digitals, which is something that I'm always trying to do. And I came across these that I've had and um, haven't used. Let me see.
you know, I'm finally able to start crafting again. That, as I said before, my pinch nerve really took me for a loop. I'm still numb all the way down my arm. That ain't no joke. But I'm able to sleep through the night now. And who wants to hear about troubles on a holiday? I want to hear about the good stuff, right? I went to St. Augustine, which was really nice. They have a celebration for Night of Lights. So I took a wagon, decorated it with lights, and put my puppies in it. And my husband and I walked around. It was fun. They always, we do that every year. They like to do that. Well, I like to do that. I don't know that they like it. But I don't think they dislike it. I'll put this here. I have some more up here. What happened here? I'm not sure what I'm going to put behind this other than the craft, you know, the, the cover, the craft board cover, or I don't know if I'm doing a soft cover yet. I have to see how this comes out. That'll help me decide. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment and Sew this, just a quick stitch right across the top to hold it in place. And then when I come back, I'll start coloring it. Let me put one more piece of this. Okay, I'll be right back. Okie doke, I'm back. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to iron these a bit to make them a little straighter. I'm using my little Cricut, the mini Cricut iron thingy. I like this, I have a little iron, but this gets it, this gets hotter faster and I'm extremely impatient. So I'm impatient when I'm crafting. I'm not usually impatient otherwise. But you know, I have ideas and my ideas will fly away if I don't do them right away. Take it off of here.
Everything's good. Okay. And what I'm probably going to do, I have to get more of this. This is going to go kind of ripped across the top. And not, as I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to have on the bottom yet. But what I want to do now, first I want to stamp some images on the lighter or some text on the lighter pieces. And I'm using archival ink because I'm going to be adding some color to this. So I want it, the um, stamp to stay. Okay, I don't think I need any more than that. Next thing I'm going to do is use some inks. I'm hoping these aren't dried out. Now,
see. I'm going to kind of cut this in a jaggedy cut. And fringe it up if I can. hard to use my left hand. Let me get a a pokey tool. Use my arm. Okay, I'm going to get that all nastied up. Now I'm going to take that back and I'll sew it and I'll be right back. Okay. Next. I think I'm going to have a better, have better luck with painting this on. Ooh, what do I see here? Walnut stain. Oh, add some water to this.
Hmm. Blue did not show up as much as I wanted. gonna have to let this dry so I'm gonna call it the end of this video and I'll pick it back up uh, in the next part where we'll actually make the cover and figure out what to do there okie doke thank you for watching and I'll see you next time I hope bye